Hello, I'm coming at you in the amazing world of Outside, also known as YouTube circa 2009. So, I think that the 2020 election, they're going to try to rig it. Um, the DNC is. And it doesn't work. DNC does not play fair. Um, they have, apparently, according to the Supreme Court, won a case where they don't have to abide by their own rules. They can essentially try to nominate whatever, whoever they want to be president. And the primaries is just to give you a an illusion of choice. That's, that's what that court ruling basically stated. And the two people... Okay, Biden, President, ex-president, ex-vice president Joe Biden is not a viable candidate. He, Trump will soundly defeat Biden. W Elizabeth Warren, now that she's teamed up with Hillary Clinton, is no longer a viable candidate because she's a liar. And she is what I like to call an old-style politician. And what I mean is... Before we had constant social media, a politician can get away with lying. They can get away with telling one state or group something and then tell a different state or group something else. And they could get away with this because nobody was fact checking them. Well, Elizabeth Warren is being fact checked and pretty much everything that's ever came out of this lady's mouth is a lie. I'm Native American. Lie. I sent my kids to public schools. Lie. Um, my favorite thing is that she claimed her dad was a janitor and her brother's immediate response is, my dad was never a fucking janitor. Like, everything out of this lady's mouth is a lie. She tries to be this fake, faux pas, grassroots candidate. And she's not. She is simply an establishment candidate that pretends that she's with the common folk. I understand your struggle, even though it is proven that I've never had any of these struggles. She just isn't viable. And she never was a viable candidate. Bernie is just old. Bernie is a perfect candidate, but he's just getting too old. And... Voters are going to think about that. They're going to think, like, do I want this man in office if he can die? That's why Bernie needs to have a solid, a very solid vice president choice. In other words, his vice president needs to be just as, his choice for vice president needs to be just as solid as Bernie as far as is to the public. And Andrew Yang could, could soundly defeat Trump on every single talking point. Andrew Yang's whole entire platform was to look to see what the population that voted for Trump, what they actually wanted. Why were they voting for Trump? What issues drove them to vote for Trump? A super conservative thing. Because they weren't voting out of Trump out of a vacuum. Trump was, a, was you know, addressing issues that they had. Issues that no other candidate was listening to them about. And so... Because the only person addressing their issues was Trump, Trump was elected. Andrew Yang looked at that and stated, I could have addressed those issues. I need to run. And that's what he's doing. And he has. Most of his issues that he's, you know, formed are things that people that voted for Trump would care about. And he's sticking that he thinks his solutions are better, which they probably are. But at least he's the only candidate in the DNC that is addressing those issues. He's the only one. And so if we don't have a candidate that's going to address those issues about jobs and the economy and segregate, not segregation, I mean, immigration, eh, I'm, I swear I'm centrist, but, you know, immigration, things like that. And segregation. We are kind of segregated even today, side. We need to be better in integrated. Which is not something that the people that voted for Trump cares about, but it's something that I care about. Because the DNC is just driving people further and further apart. Andrew Yang has addressed those issues. 
he's effectively a better candidate, and he's the only one that could potentially beat Trump. So, recap. Joe Biden's wouldn't win to establishment, to creepy. Warren's a liar, and that's something that everybody that's going to vote for president will care about. Bernie's too old. Yang addresses issues that people actually care about. Bye.